All right, before we get into the video, I'm going to talk to you guys about foottrading.co.uk, our trading site that's there to help you guys make millions of coins throughout FIFA 22. We've already got people in the Discord that are sitting well over 5 million TP with millions of coins on their account, basically building and trading and doing whatever they want on this game without spending their hard-earned money on FIFA points. So what do you get for your money? Tier 1, £10, gets you access to the low-budget area across all platforms. You also get access to our trading areas for chem styles. That's Anchors, Hunters and Shadows. And we've just launched our icon area for you guys. Every single tradable icon is on there to help you guys trade with them and make millions. The access for Tier 2 includes fluctuations. This is an area of the site that is incredibly overpowered. It tracks the market 24 hours a day. It shows you the low point on cards the high point on cards, the average price that card has been at and gives you guys an ideal price that you guys can go and buy that card out and flip it on for pretty much guaranteed profit. We don't say it lightly when we say you guys will make millions of coins if you utilize it. If you've already subbed, make sure you join the Discord. If you're debating subbing, join the Discord as well. It's completely free and you can talk to website subscribers directly and ask them what they think about the site. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below. We are on the road to 40,000 subscribers, Project Fuzzball40k. And once we hit that, we'll be giving away a next generation console. Um, I always want to give back to you guys as much as possible. Uh, so we'll continue to, to do that throughout this year. Um, it's, been a, it's been an amazing start to the, to the game. Hopefully we can continue that. But this video is one that I brought up last week and I want to try and bring it out every single week. And that is giving you guys an idea of what to do each week on the game. Um, the, if you can plan out your week in terms of how you're going to make coins, it's much, much easier and it requires a lot less time for you guys to boost your coin total. Um, and it doesn't take much thinking about it. It's very, very easy. So we'll go through sort of each day and what I think you guys should be looking at. And again, things are subject to change on this game. So there'll be some stuff that you can rationally invest in at 6 p.m., uh, but also some stuff that right now is just holding too low and you guys can go and go and buy into them. So We'll start with Monday, which is today specifically, and we've seen the sort of upgrade packs come on Mondays. It used to be Sundays, now it's Mondays. Last week's upgrade pack was a very, very good one if you wanted to make coins, because it required X amount of chem, but it required two strikers and two cams. You basically had to use a striker or a cam or a CM in those positions to get the rating and the, and the, and the chemistry sorry, that you guys needed, okay? So that meant the strikers, no matter what league they were, pretty much rose to, to 1,000 coins in and around that. So gold common play players are a play at that point. So what I would do tonight if I were you at 6pm is go and check out what is happening at the, on the SBC section. If you see player picks, and let's say theoretically it has got, I don't know, two centre-backs, a goalkeeper and a centre-mid as a position, I'd be looking to those two centre-backs as, as my position. It's a lot easier to get chem that way because of a goalkeeper, for example, but you'll still see a rise in those players and that's where you can rash invest and make a lot of coins very, very easily. If you see the market, for example, and you see strikers, so if right now you look at strikers that are gold common, um, right now they are, I don't look at anyone, but let's just get an accurate representation of them. I mean, easily attainable at well, over, not, well under 700 coins, 500 coins, look at that. They're next to nothing at the moment, these strikers. Um, even that one there, I just picked it up straight away and it popped. Um, they're easy to get hold of. At 6 p.m. you'll see a lot of people buying them, um, we know a point last week, 1k was in and around what they got to. Will they do the exact same this week? I don't know. But I also think there's a bit more hype about this team than last week's team. Um, and so I think player picks or any sort of upgrade packs will do better. That's just a simplistic way that I think you guys should be looking at things in in inherently. One thing that stayed, stayed, stayed very low is fodder specifically. Um, I'm looking at 83, 84 rated fodder at the moment. You can look at footwiz, just type in cheapest players footwiz in Google and it will bring up a list of all the cheapest players possible for you. Now, if fodder keeps staying low, it's not good business for EA because people don't want to open up packs when there's only nine players at the moment that are under 100k on this game. Now, EA will try and bring something out. In the pack code at the moment, we have a repeatable team of the week pack that's sitting there chilling. Um, whether EA bring it out or it's just a placeholder, I don't know. But it's specifically for the team of the weeks from one to five, okay? So it would not surprise me if we see that drop at some point this week because realistically, there's no reason why it's sitting there specifically for one to five. If it was a random pack that was just any team of the week player, I'd get it. But it's one to five. So for me, that's got to drop relatively soon. Fodder will do quite well from that. Now, am I expecting Fodder to suddenly boom to a 5k of an 83? No. And I don't think the SBC, the team of the weeks themselves are that good, if we're being entirely honest. But let's watch the comedy chat now. Comedy just sat at 1k, for example. So the demand for 83 sees them sit about 900 to 1k at the moment. 
Uh, team of the Week SBC, I think 1.5 to 2k they probably get to, something like that, as long as it's half decent sort of required for chemistry. So if it requires something like 70 chem, um, then they'll definitely do well, especially the Major League. If it requires 40 chem, then really you can play with any sort of one of them. It doesn't really make too much of a difference at all. Um, it, it's very, very simplistic. But I would be careful with holding anything at the moment because we've got this Halloween promo. So really this week, I'd be looking at instant flips. Now, something I'm finding a lot of joy with at the moment is silvers, and specifically silvers from major leagues. And silver rares more than anything. When you get up onto the game in the morning, I would always just get in the habit of having a little look at silver rares from whatever league it might be. So you might, I'm for here, for argument's sake, I'm going to look at the Premier League. And what I just do is I go along and I compare price on all these silvers and just see if there's any that are sort of sitting low, holding low. Like Matt Ritchie, for example, isn't. Love a look at Cathcart, for example. See what he's doing. There's an 800 coin one there, 800 coin there, 650. So you might want to look at that sort of 650 and think, okay, cool, do I want to buy that and pull it by? 650 coins for a rare Premier League centre back isn't bad at all. Um, you can put that by in your club, you can't really make a loss. But really, what you want to try and do is look for something that's instant profit. So this guy here, for example, he's holding relatively high at 750. There's a 300, there's bids on him. So I'd be intrigued to get him on bid, try and pick him up for, for as cheap as possible. And again, what I'll do now is flip my filter and I'll go to here. You see Phil Jones, for example. 500 coins on him. Cheapest one on the market for Phil Jones at the moment. In around 950, give or take. About 850, 800. So again, you can look to get these guys on bids and just pick them up. And it's a relatively risk-free way, risk way to, to trade because I don't like the idea of holding too many things at all. Um, but it is just something I'd be looking at because you can just make easy profit each, each sort of each day as it goes along. But if you do buy, let's say theoretically you go and buy these cards pre 6 p.m. Okay, you buy these cards pre 6 p.m. All it takes is one SBC at 6 p.m. to require rare players in it. So daily SBC to require rare players for them to rise in value. Conversely, when that SBC drops, if it's got silver supply from that, the silver rares will still rise because they're going to rise in value. But if you guys are looking to league SBC invest, that's your time. The moment you get some sort of silver supply, that's when you go and buy the cards to invest. So it's sort of a continual cycle of making coins. So you, you buy your silvers at sort of early day, you sell those at 6 p.m., you then buy more silvers and you hold those before flipping them on and you keep recycling that basically and it will continually make you coins. It's easy as anything to make coins. But where do I like my coins right now? I love the idea of Team of the Week from last week. I'm going to show you it now on, on, on a foot, footage basically, but... Team of the Week 4 saw a ridiculous amount of supply of, of Team of the Weeks, okay? A mad amount of supply. And they've held very, very low since then. So, for example, you've got Bastoni. He's an 85-rated um, Team of the Week, sat at 15k. Moreover, Oyazabal, an 86-rated Team of the Week, who is currently sat, if you can see him from the team there, 14k on Xbox for an 86 Team of the Week. This week, I would 100% be looking at these cards and thinking, oh, can I club stop these up? Gavardio is an... 81 rated, 85 pace Bundesliga centre back who is basically discard price at the moment. Because of the no loss glitch, we saw so much supply of these cards, loads and loads and loads of them. And if we do get a repeatable team of the week SBC, someone like Ayo Yazabel could be good because he'll probably get sold off in panic. It always happens. These cards get sold off in panic 24 7. And if you think, okay, cool, they're going to come down in value. If you know that Ayazabel, for example, sat at 15, 14k. And if that SBC comes out and he gets down to 11, 12k, it's a no-brainer. You cannot make a loss on that card long-term. You'll make a lot of coins on him very, very easily. And ideally, you'll probably make them this week. If it get, we get an SBC that requires a decent amount of Team of the Weeks. If it requires a Team of the Week to go back into it again, these cards might see a slow spike at that point, realistically. And then if we look at this week's Team of the Week, there's less supplier this week because no one no, no lost glitch. And actually what's happened is some of these players have gone up. So Firmino, for example... Was sat at 38k for points yesterday. He's now at 44. He's done quite well. But you've got Savania, for example, 83 rated um, from Ligue 1. He's discard price. These cards, buy one of each of these cards and just stick them in your club. Just stick them in your club and forget they exist. At some point in the future, they're going to go up in value and you'll double slash triple your coins. It's a no-brainer. It's really, really easy. And if there's even ones like Ndombele, Ndombele right now, like I say, is sitting at 16k. He's going to get supply every day at 6pm. But again, if he's obtainable from this Team of the Week pack, he might get down to an enough discard price. Later on in the year, an 84-rated French um, central midfielder from the Premier League, he's going to jump massively. Because again, you'll need him for chemistry for other SBCs. And if he's out of packs, there's only a, a certain amount of supply of him. He, and the more he comes off the market, the more he rises in value. Ben Chilwell, 84-rated left wing back from, from uh, the Premier League. He's 13k. The, these cards are too cheap long-term. And if we do get a Team of the Week SBC... 
they will drop handsomely. They really will drop handsomely. It's something to be mindful of as, as you go on and continue on the game. In my opinion, it's something you want to look at. The big thing with this week is we've probably got the Halloween promo coming on Friday and I would just be careful about holding anything for too long. What we've seen so far with promos as we go into them, each week, even with the same promo, the market dips Thursday into Friday because people are panicking about what's going to come out. Again, I wouldn't hold anything too long this week. I wouldn't be sitting there thinking, let me hold anything um, that's sort of got a value right now for more than a couple of days. Now, exempt from that is anything you buy at Discard, like Team of the Weeks, so you can't really go wrong on those. But it's just to be mindful that we've got this Halloween promo on Friday and I think there's big coins to be made in that promo. This is where I think content starts to rack up and, and so I'd be mindful of that. We will bring out a video to go over that in detail. Um, but that's that's where, really where everyone's now anticipating, that new promo coming um, and I think content does ramp up. But those are some of the things you can be thinking about this week in terms of making coins on the game. They're all very easy, very attainable things to do. Stuff you can do throughout the week, especially at a lower budget. But even if you're a higher budget, I see people go, oh, I've got a million, so I'm not going to trade for silvers. Why? It makes no sense whatsoever. If you know these cards have got up to 1, 1.5, 2k, if you buy loads of them, you're going to make more you'd ever make off icons or special cards. It's as simple as that. So that's what you do need to do this week to trade, to make coins. It's as easy as that. Like I say, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon. Open up.